volcanoes. They have the power to take away, but also the power to create new life. Over 80% of the Earth's surface was created by volcanoes, allowing life to thrive. They change and shape the landscapes around them. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust that allows molten rock to escape through to the surface. This process created the wonder that is Snow Canyon State Park and the surrounding area. After visiting the park, we decided it was time to conquer the volcano that helped create it all. There are several types of volcanoes in the world. In the Santa Clara region, there are two major volcanoes and they are cinder cones. So this is the cinder cone trail. Oh. My legs are already tired oh, and we just good. started. <laughs> we'll see how far three. we get. But look at that lava field, Everett, look at that. That's it, buddy, it's top the volcano, we made it. <laughs> All right, let's go. It's a good hike. Good hike. <laughs> uh, it's just a lava field, Dane. Oh, never mind. It's just the volcano spit up. That is up. my kind of hike, about 300 feet. 300 feet. Oh, I can't. It's a vertical mountain. We'll see how far we get up. Oh, my legs hurt. It's said extremely difficult. Extreme, not just difficult, extremely difficult. The Cindercone Trail is considered a difficult or moderate trail depending on your abilities. One side. There's a reason they want us to go. Coming this... down that way. No, you're not. You can't tuck right and right roll. Right. Tuck and roll, Dane. <laughs> slide and surf my way down. Lava surf. Yeah, I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's quite what you think. I think there's a lot of sharp edges and pointy things. It'll be fine. I got this. I'm wearing my extra thick boots. And long underwear. Extra thick boots. Extra thick pants. <laughs> I don't know, those just look like standard edition Wranglers. You're right, they are. I forgot my car hearts. <laughs> As you hike, most of the trail is a mild, single track dirt path. As you hike the trail, you will be hiking around the volcano as you gain an elevation to reach the top. This cinder cone volcano last erupted about 27,000 years ago and shaped the areas in this region. The crater of the volcano is about 616 feet across and about 100 feet deep. So we're going up this trail. At this point, we were way down there. It may not look impressive, but the highway is way over there. About five miles to 30 minutes. Report, Everett. What? How's the hike? Good. Steep. Steep. Very and, steep. And good. We found a little shade. Oh. It's a sitting bench. Oh. Oh, my back. It is steep and it is full of volcanic debris and can be quite slippery. The hardest part of this trail is right before you ascend to the top of the volcano. This area is full of very loose volcanic rock and requires proper foot placement. For us, it was easier going up than coming back down. You can eat when we get back to truck. So this is the cinder cone, we made it. How does Dane feel? Great, I'm tired. Great and tired? How does the lava shoot out? We'll have to watch the volcano videos. It's pretty impressive. 
because that's what's left. Volcanoes look like a big hole. However, the views from the top of the cinder cone are amazing. Pine Valley Mountain to the north and Snow Canyon State Park to the south. Not even gonna fall. Hurry! Video followers want to see you fall and roll. You sure? Well, come on, you almost did it. There, maybe. Come on, you can do it. What? Why? Good. Jeez. Official trail review from Dane. It was good. Wear proper shoes. Yep. Don't carry a backpack. It's heavy. However, our adventure doesn't end there. Next time on Legendary Trails. We visit a popular outdoor area near St. George, Utah. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And if you're not caught up on all of our adventures, you should click on the suggested videos. We look forward to seeing you out on the trail soon. Bye for now.